So an assassination attempt was just made on President Donald Trump, and I don't think it was successful. I think he got grazed in the ear. I'm not going to fear monger you guys and do the whole conservative, oh my gosh, Trump's shot. Uh, I think he's fine. To the, to, to the knowledge that I was able to find through a few minutes of research, because it just happened a few minutes ago, uh, he's fine. But here's what I want to say, and I've been wanting to say this for a while. I am so tired of these diluted American brains that are listening to this theater script play out on television telling them that reality is one thing and they're not smart enough to step out their door and realize reality is completely different. We have the news telling us white supremacy is one of the biggest threats to our country. We have people telling us that, that the, the, the conservatives are the same as the, the, the neo, you know what. They have people saying that ultra MAGA is violent. They have people saying that, that, that uh, Trump's trying to overthrow democracy. They have people saying that all of the, the violence and the civil unrest and the inflation and everything is conservative Trump fault. And I'm tired of it. If you aren't smart enough to step outside your door and look around and be like, all right, hold up. This, 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 this theater that I'm watching inside isn't matching what's going on outside. Learn to do your own research. I am tired of you guys just running around. I'm a proud American. And then opening your mouth to be spoon fed information so you can palate it. Because if you ever had to draw your own conclusion or connect your own dots, you would be completely lost and probably dye your hair purple. There is one president in this race that had an assassination attempt taken against him. As a matter of fact, if you think back to the last president that had an assassination attempt taken on him that has gotten this close, you're going to go back a ways. And if you actually look at the presidents that were assassinated and you look at what they were doing to the government money, you would realize the reason they're getting taken out isn't because some random Joe Schmo downtown doesn't want that president. It's because the system feels threatened. It's not some random person that's living out in the country. that's like, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take out Donald Trump. No, this is a systematic approach, right? Their first approach was, hey, we're going to make sure that Joe Biden gets elected and we're going to make sure he gets the votes. He got the votes. Boom. This time around, they were going to do the same thing. They were going to put Joe out there. He was going to get a landslide of votes. Joe was going to win again. But here's the thing. They decided instead of trying to do anything risky, let's just put our opponent in prison. Let's do it the legal way. Let's send him through the judicial system, get him locked up so he can't run for president. And that failed. And as a matter of fact, it garnished more support for Donald Trump. So they were like, oh, crap, Joe Biden, you got to get out there and debate. You got to make sure we can sell how many votes you're going to get and people are going to believe it. But guess what? Joe went up there and fumbled the ball. It's not a coincidence that this assassination attempt happened right after Joe Biden completely fumbled the bag on the debate stage. And all of a sudden, even his own supporters are calling for him to step down. And now the, the system, the system that you supposedly hate but somehow still vote liberal, that system is panicking. And the only other option they have since they already exhausted the fake vote, they've already exhausted the, the legal proceedings, and now their only option is left with desperate, take him out. If you guys can't actually see this playing out, then I don't know, I don't know what you're on, but I, I'm so sick and tired of the mentality that Americans have being like, well, you know, no, start paying attention. Start paying attention. The presidents that get taken out are the presidents that threaten the system. The same system that you complain incarcerate is, incarcerates black people. The same system that won't give you health care. The same system that's doing everything that you've complained about for decades, yet somehow you keep voting for Joe Biden 1994 crime bill. Kamala Harris imprisoning black people on minor marijuana charges just to put people on her prison workforce. If you don't wake up and smell the freaking flowers, I don't know what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Stop thinking like they're telling you how to think and start thinking for yourself. When you go vote, there's one guy that's taking out the system that hates you, and there's another guy that's making that system stronger. You make that choice.